This episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50Watcher at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Hey, it's Brittany, your host for the day, and I've devised a master plan to learn how to level up my home cooking game. Introducing Fresh Spins. Here, the one and only professional food eater slash amateur cook, <coughs> got it, slash my boss. Stephen Lim will put his hat in the ring against a proven chef to see who can bring the freshest spin to a HelloFresh meal kit. The only thing I like more than eating is winning. This can go in many directions, but I'm excited for the challenge. It's fresh spins and may the freshest spin win. So as you know, today's sponsor is HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, the ingredients are right there, the menu's right there, so it helps me meal prep really quickly. Let me show you what I mean. This is the meal kit that the chefs will be using, but first, I'll show you what it's like to follow the recipe directly. Today, we're gonna to be making Argentinian bavette steak. I'm looking at the instructions on the back. It looks super easy, fits all in one page. Lovely, just seven steps, and step seven is served. Look at this! It looks really good! I'm gonna dig in. Hmm, it was good! So this was super easy to make. I mean, all I did was follow the instructions and boom. That was delicious, but we're just getting started. HelloFresh has brought out my inner chef. It's time to bring in some seasoned chefs. Okay, Steven. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, ready, Winston? Yes. Let me explain the rules real quick. In front of you are the ingredients that you must use in your final dish. You can use any items in the pantry or in the fridge to customize your dish. And at the very end, your dish will be presented to a judge. Who's the judge? We have Joyce. Ooh, 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 okay. The wheels are turning. And uh, what do I win? Bragging rights, of course. Uh, and how much time do I have? So one of the main benefits of HelloFresh is meant to help you cook faster with pre-portioned ingredients. So you will have exactly 35 minutes to complete this challenge. What? 35 minutes? That's not enough time. You can do it. And your time starts now. Okay. Oh god, this is like nerve wracking all of a sudden. So this is all from HelloFresh? Yes. This is a steak, a beef, a vet sirloin. Whoa, okay, string beans, some, is this parsley? What is this? What is it's this? parsley. Okay, great, so we have parsley, ciabatta. <laughs> Cutest bottle of like red wine vinegar. Um, see how far that takes me. A lot of really good stuff here. Some cheese and vinegar as well. Chili powder, garlic powder. These are great, by the way. These go literally with anything. I'm gonna check out what he's doing. Hey yo. What's what's up? I'm curious. I want to see what you're doing. Well, okay, so. Also, your time is ticking, by the way. If you need to grab. Also, time is ticking on my life. <laughs> Let me see what we have here. Oh look! Hey look! It's a photo of my dog. Oh no, my other photo fell. Sorry, I know we don't, I know we don't have time, but this is very important. You guys Can must see my dogs. It? You must That's see so the pups. Okay, so, ooh, I have an idea. Hello. Hi. Hi, okay, still looking through the ingredients? Yeah, I kind of want to do a tartare with the Babette steak as a little appetizer. Fancy. Uh, but then, like the main course, one of my favorite dishes growing up was uh, shaking beef, mm -hmm. uh, balaclak, which you'll see in a lot of French Vietnamese restaurants. Mm. I don't really have those ingredients to do it, uh, but I'm gonna try to make my own rendition with what we have here, and hopefully, I don't like uh, yeah. upset any Vietnamese grandmothers. Or anything <laughs> like that. So you're making two dishes. Yeah, just like a little bite. Gotcha. To whet the appetite, I guess, uh -huh. and then we go into the main course. It sounds really ambitious. Do you think you can do it under the time limit? I think so. I mean, it's something I grew up eating, and it's a it's a quick fire dish. Mm. Luckily, like we're cutting the steak so it cooks faster. Okay, what we're gonna do, we have a steak. I actually have rendang paste. I wanna make a beef rendang. Mm -hmm. But put that all on this lovely ciabatta and make it a sandwich. A rendang sandwich. That's right. Do some pickled onions because the beef is very thick. Pickling, huh? That Doesn't that usually take a while? We'll, we'll do our best, we'll do our best. I don't know how long this would take. Well, I'm gonna leave you to it, good luck. Thanks, bye. Again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a rendang Sandwich with some slightly pickled onions. Or should I go slice first? Probably half and then I'll peel. You know, this is not actually what I thought I wanted to do. Uh, okay. 
I'm gonna do a steak tartare. That's gonna go in a cheese crostini from chili oil. Garnier. Some fresh strawberries and radishes. A little parsley oil just to finish it off. So it's a really quick bite. And I'm gonna make a chili oil. Add some olive oil. A ton of salt. So basically we're just gonna bloom these spices in here. Chili powder. And let it get nice and red in color. And just really get the most out of these spices. Yeah, this is gonna be low, low and slow. And then next thing, I wanna try to get two perfect portions out of this. The rest of this is gonna be croutons. All right, so we got some coffee filters here. So a cool trick is just, yeah. I'm gonna let this sit, and by the time we're ready to use it, it'll have filtered itself. See, a really nice golden color. That's technique. You know me, cooking is a feel. So I know we should be measuring stuff. However, I have a good feeling about these things. So I'm just gonna eyeball, spread some water, and then red and white vinegar. This is actually the red vinegar that they gave us. Woo! White vinegar as well. Sure. Pepper flakes. Pow, 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 pow. And you know what it needs is, you gotta sweeten that onion. And we got some maple syrup here. That feels good. A little more, okay. This feels great. I'm gonna let that little simmer for a little bit. And grab this pan. Parsley, chopping it up. Blanch it. 30 seconds. So the chlorophyll doesn't activate until you boil it. That's why we're doing this. So that's good. This is gonna give it a, like you don't get the flavor out of it unless you do this. You can shortcut it and just blend it with olive oil, but it's just not gonna be very flavorful. Get it in the water. It's like it I'm watching a show. This is great. I'm gonna pull it out and squeeze it out. I'm still concerned if you can pull it off in the time right. limit. The time's still ticking. I need to squeeze everything out of here. We're gonna get this as dry as possible. And we're gonna blend it with some oil. So if you check this out, it's uh, sizzling. And as soon as it sizzles all the way, it's gonna activate all that chlorophyll again. It's basically define the herbs, and that's when you wanna extract it. It's not as green as I wanted it, because well, it's falling out of parsley, but it's good enough. It's nice. That's gonna make this dish really sexy. What am I doing? What am I doing? And he's spilling. Okay, we saw that. Okay, so let's put the onions in here. So this I've never done before, and a uh, bit nervous about this, but I hope it works out. I'm nervous too. Am I going too slow? Yes. How much time do I have left, Brittany? Yeah, 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't have the best aim, so I'm gonna do this like right here in case I spill. Hey, not bad, right? And now I will let that sit for like 15 minutes. Done. Next up, steak. So right away. I'm gonna start the garniera. Chef, what's a garniera? Garniera, I'm just calling it that. You can call it escabeche too. It's kind of a mix between the two right now. So it's just like a bunch of vegetables that you can preserve when they're in season for the rest of the year. I'm gonna put a ton of salt in this. That's way too much. <laughs> it's a bunch of vinegar. Some onions, bell peppers from the HelloFresh kit. I also wanna take the stem from this. Usually you throw it away, but I'm gonna take it, peel it. Usually you can't really eat this because it's really, really, really fibrous. You can throw it away, but there's a lot of flavor here and it actually pickles really nicely. So if you have something like this, like definitely save it. He's like showing me so nice. many skills and techniques. A very nice and tender stock of fennel. It's very intense in flavor. Fine dice rings. I love a cutting board ASMR. So let's do that. And usually, you can do this with water, but if you're doing a quick pickle, you should dilute it with ice so it cools down right away. That's what I'm gonna do. Transfer it to a big bowl, let it cool off, let it be able to air out. Oh, look at the color on that, it looks great. We're gonna be using that later on. I'm gonna put that over here. So next up is the paste, and I have those instructions here. Pour in coconut milk. And... Oh, okay, great, so I'm gonna open this up. Mm. I literally, <coughs> I've been eating rendang since I was a wee, a wee child. And it was always, always my favorite meal that my mom would prepare for me growing up. I would eat it every day for lunch. She would package it up in a little Tupperware. We called it Tupperware. I didn't realize it was Tupperware. I thought it was Tupperware because of my parents' accent. So freaking good. Okay, this, a little cooking oil. Ooh, my goodness. This premix actually smells legit. And then obviously garlic powder. Ooh, love garlic powder. I love garlic powder so much. We have a pepper. Realizing now that I need more sauce for the amount of peppers and stuff I have here. Instructions here. 
pour in coconut milk. Okay, and then last but not least, your steak. I gotta get the cheese crostini that I'm gonna be making. Spread it with the garlic butter and the cheese, and then just slowly crisp it up. Right, this is gonna be our base for our steak tartare. You know, I should use this nonstick pan, but you know, <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Hey, how's it going? Not so good. What's up? Uh, I don't have enough paste. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pour in coconut milk. Uh, I need... uh, just wanted to remind you, Steven, you have 10 minutes left. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Time flies when you're stressed. This, I'm really afraid it's gonna get stuck, and if that's the case, I gotta figure it out. It's... Moment of truth. I think I made a mistake here. Definitely made a mistake here. <laughs> I don't have Hello. a choice. Hey, how's it Hi. going? You look a little stuck there. How's it going? Yeah, stuck for real. I just made an amateur mistake. I should have used the nonstick pan. Oh. And, uh, I thought there was going to be enough fat in the cheese mm -hmm. and the butter, but there is not. You think you're going to have to start that over? I'm going to have to start this over. Okay. That's what happens, you know. I mean, it smells lovely in here, but I just want to remind you, there is a time limit, so. There is, yes. Let's do that bread over real quick, real quick. All right, gotta keep an eye on this one this time. It shouldn't stick. What the heck am I doing here? I want to show a walk. What's going on? What am I doing? Oh, so much easier to deal with and to cook now. Okay, I need these vegetables to cook faster. Cook faster. So I'm gonna cut part of it for the steak tartare. Right, I'm gonna do a very fine dice. Just make sure it's super small. Okay, nice, very nice. I'm gonna marinate this with a little bit of fish sauce, a little bit of sugar. Soy sauce, oyster sauce. Mix it up a little bit, let it hang out. I'm gonna add some of this chili oil that I made. Oh yeah, it tastes really good actually. There you go, we have that. Gonna get the stir and stir fry in, you know what I'm saying? And then finally, we add our steak. Woo! Nothing in life is better than the sizzle of a steak. Woo! Let me check on this uh, toast real quick. Awesome. So this is gonna be fine. Now it's like, it's ice skating, which is great. Beautiful. Toast is done. This is just to add to the tartare on top. Okay, so we got this nice cheesy bread. I am going to plate this first before I do second course. This is just to soak up the vinegar before we plate it. So we got all this goodness right here. I'm gonna plate myself one so I can taste it because that's important. So here we got this. Ooh, look at that. Shingle some radishes too. There you go. Look at this little, cute little. That looks gorgeous. Just a little bit of green oil on top of that. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna taste it because I have no idea if it tastes good. Need salt for sure. Need salt. I'm glad I tasted that. I think we're getting close to finish, so the last thing I'm gonna do is get the bread ready. Okay, and then I'm chopping the bread in half here. Oh boy. Yes! Yes! Love the confidence. Uh, we have our roasted garlic <coughs> herb butter blend. You know what they do here, right? They just, uh, you just gotta go like this. <laughs> what is that? <coughs> Holy moly, I forgot about the coconut milk in the water, that's why! Ah, oh, oh, I just forgot about it. <coughs> I'm gonna add it now. Okay, oh boy, wow. I am a failure. Can he pull through? We'll see. Okay, so in my runa, I actually forgot to add coconut milk because I am, uh, I don't know, because I'm that way. So, add a bit, add some water here. That's much better. Here we go, here we go. Okay, now we're cooking. Wow. This is, I don't think I added the right amount of ratio of 
stuff in here. We're gonna go into the shaking beef, which we're gonna do like a new American style. Sauteed diced steak, a salad, and then a fried egg on top of that. Hopefully it's a complete meal. So we have some end knife here. I'm gonna peel the outer layer. It's just a little bit more bitter. Okay, so that's gonna be part of our shaking beef salad. So traditionally it's watercress, shave some onion. We're gonna, I'm gonna start warming this pan up for the beef. Chef, you have five minutes left. Copy, five minutes. All right. It's gonna spit a little bit. It has sugars in it. You, it's gonna kind of threaten to burn, so we have, we have to watch it. That's working, finishing off the salad. All right, chilies in there. All right, so that's the steak. Ready to go, I'm gonna start plating now. To be expected. Can we turn the oven fan on? I'm sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> Pow. Pow. Two minutes. Two minutes? No problem. Yes. Yes, Chef. I just yes, Chef, myself. What's wrong with me? Okay. Here we go. So, to finish off our sandwich here, just gotta add the red peppers, the green, the green beans here, uh, a little bit of rindong sauce, and then some cheese here. Open! Put that on top. Woo, it's melting already. And then finally, top this off with these nice, fresh, juicy pickled onions. Oh my goodness. Why won't these pick up? Okay. Come on. Throw that on top. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Why? I feel like I'm missing something. Well, you know what? We forgot the parsley. Five, ah! four, oh, wait. five, Done. four, oh, wait. three, no! two, the parsley! three, two, the parsley! One, and heads off! <laughs> okay, you can put the bread on top of the sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. All right, how do you feel? Ooh, can I see what you got? Oh man, that was a blur. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. How was it? How was the whole feat? Uh, it's pretty uh, <laughs> messy. Okay, the chefs have completed their masterpieces. It's time to taste. Welcome! Hi. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you too, girl. Well, you came hungry. Period and I'm going to judge them harshly and without any remorse for their emotions or feelings. Oh, love that. It's hard being a savage, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the dishes you'll be tasting today showcase a wide range of skills, actually. Okay. So as our judge for today, please tell me your judging criteria. It's all about taste, but I want to feel something, you know? I've had a lot of flings in my life, and when I eat food made from someone, I want to feel their love, their passion, their obsession to satisfying my taste buds. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so up here and also in, in here. here. Yeah. And in here, the heart. Both of them use steak as the main ingredient. How do you like your steak? Um, well, I have a public aesthetic for how I like to want to be cooking, a private one. So publicly, I say medium rare. Privately, give me a blue rare. Mm, what's people, a blue rare? They flip it twice and put it on. Oh! Line. But it freaks a lot of people out, so I just tell people medium rare. And how are you with spice? I'm an island girl. I eat the. I can handle spice. Honestly, can spice handle me? Mm. That's the real question. Look at this! You know, I'm I don't I don't wanna lie to y'all. I could already tell who's is whose, but you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna give a suspension of disbelief. I'm just like but the, I just want to say, one person made me a three-course meal. He said, Joyce, I'm here to elevate you. I'm here to grab you by your edges and tell you who you are. And one said, I like your burger. Hey, you'd be surprised. <laughs> so the first dish here, we have the rendang sami, an aromatic beef curry with a blend of melted cheese topped with pickled onions served with garlic herb ciabatta bread. All right, you know, let's look at it. I love how the cubana is clean. You know, the garnish of a little bit leftover cheeses. The sauce is dripping over the bread, so it's like, here, have a sneak peek, Joyce, but I don't want you to have everything yet. Let me cut into this for us. It looks so good. Yeah, looks really good. Yo, look Ooh. at this, this looks good. 
Mm. I feel like a makeup influencer. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's spicy. It's good. <laughs> okay. So I like the spice. I feel like it's like a wake up call after you were hung over the night before and you need to get up and go to work. Mm -hmm. And the flavor is really good. Like it's yeah. a refreshing light flavor. The steak was cooked very well. I would like enjoy this for lunch. I'm really surprised. Ready to move on to our next dish? Let's go somewhere. <laughs> our next chef produced two dishes, a steak tartare appetizer featuring a crispy bread, bavette steak, house-made chili oil, gardenera, and parsley. The main dish is a new American shaking beef that features shaved spring vegetable salad, a runny egg topped with lime citronette. Mm. It's a mouthful. I'm, I mean, it's like people who cook cook, mm, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. Like someone who just like their long life passion is to move to, you know, France and go to Cordon Bleu and like every moment that they cook, they feel connection to being alive. And I deserve that. Yes. And then strawberries. I would have never in my life thought radish, strawberries, me. Me neither. Oh, it's too pretty. I, I don't want to break it. I know. Break it. Also, the dish is really pretty. It's the kind of stuff your grandma keeps in the cabinet. Mm. Cheers, Cheers to the Tata. <laughs> I mean, with the radish and then the sweetness of the strawberries, it took me somewhere, you know? Reminded me of when I had a fling with a Frenchman and I made out with him outside the bar. It was new, it was different. That's romantic. It was not. <laughs> but this, this is. Well, we're not done yet. Like, that wasn't even the main dish. Mm. This is the prettiest salad in the world. Oh. Dripping. I just hear like opera music, like, that's why I hear about it, it does. Mm. What kind of music do you hear for the uh, sandwich there? Are you talking to us? <laughs> the time has finally come to decide on a winner. Both were very promising. Very good. But only one can stand. This is gonna be a hard choice. It'll be hard. Let's bring him out here. Okay. Wow. Hello. 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 So. Hello. Yeah. So you know Steven. Mm -hmm. And this is Chef Winson. Oh my Hello. gosh, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet wow. You too. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can tell he could cook, huh? Mm -hmm. You're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> How are you feeling now? I'm feeling uh relieved, I guess. Yeah, I don't think we know whose dish is whose yet. <laughs> yeah, we have so no idea. I feel like there could be a sleeper winner here. I feel I'm feeling good. Okay, Joyce, mm -hmm. we've tasted, we've deliberated. Yeah. Now it's time to pick our one winner. <sighs> this is a lot. I need some. <sighs> this is the winner. Oh. Jeff Winston. I'm so sorry, Steven. You know, I love, I really did love this dish. But I don't know if I ever eat like this again. <laughs> let, me, let me see. Let me see. Try it. Tons of olive oil. Just tons. I don't know if it's crispy or not. Oh my god. No, you deserve the win. That's crazy. Wait, what? Cool. Congratulations, Winston. Yeah. You Congratulations, it. Winston. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. But for now, thank you all for joining. This was Fresh Spins. Fresh Spins. Hey. All right. Love it. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50WATCHER at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping.